Hi, my name is Drew Larson. I'm the CEO and the founder of Leaders Beverage. In this short video, we're going to show you how to install a counter-mounted anagram beer engine. Now, we were getting ready to do this a few days ago at the Public and Anchor in Wicker Park, Chicago for the one-off hospitality group. Micromatic and the folks at Anagram out in England were very gracious to help us with a little bit of information. And so we wanted to share some information with you and, and show you uh, how we drilled through the counter and mounted it ourselves. So uh, hopefully you find this useful. And if you have questions, please feel free to put them below. Thank you. We'll be installing this counter mount Anagram beer engine onto this stainless steel silver plate and you can see we have less than two inches and we have plenty of support for the bolts to come through. First thing we'll do is we'll use this 13 millimeter ratchet to take off all of the posts so we can separate the top from the bottom and measure out our cuts. And you'll see we've got the four bolts out and then we got to take off one more and we're just separating the piston so that we can remove the top completely. The anagram counter mount does come, you can see, with a template. And this is great because it's a sticker that will actually stick right on the surface we're going to cut. But besides needing to take off the top just so that you can put it through, it also means that you can double check all your measurements by putting where your bolts are going to be right in place. So these are where we're going to make our cuts. You can see I used a right triangle to create both my horizontal and vertical lines uh, so I get a dead center. And then you'll see also we have a dead center right there on our template. So now we can get this right perfect in the center of our square. Something not to forget is that you have space to mount underneath. A lot of times you'll end up with plumbing works that might be in the way. So that's something to consider and remember. What I do is tear out a little bit of hole, and then I'm able to mark, uh, match up the cross lines, the crosshairs, with the crosshairs I drew in with pen or pencil. And that way I know I have an exactly perfect even. And the fact that this is a sticker is phenomenal because it just stays right in place. And we'll be able to easily make our first uh, guide holes. Something like this is very precise, especially with stainless steel, and you can't afford a screw up. So what I use, is a punch to make a nice little notch that my drill bit will be able to follow. What we did was use a jigsaw with a metal blade so that we could slowly cut out. Well, we shaved in there with that metal saw millimeter by millimeter so that this would be as absolutely tight as possible under here and that way it won't move around as much. So we're going to go ahead and put these washers and bolts back on and get it all steady. Now then, you can see the other side that it's completed. We drilled those four holes, one, two, three, four, and we took out that rectangle, and that fits these. So remember, this isn't gonna be connecting to the counter itself, but to the unit, which means these two side bolts are the only ones that are anchoring it to the actual bar. So those holes have to be perfect. Now here, we're going to go ahead and use a John Guest fitting. We connected the beer line that will run to the engine room. And, and here you have a counter-mounted anagram completely installed and just about ready to go minus having an actual cask. We thank Public and Anchor, a one-off hospitality restaurant just brand new and opening up in Wicker Park, Chicago. Oh, and isn't that a beautiful tower too? Thanks so much. Of course, you could see that I was forced to do most of the video on my phone, uh, so I apologize for that, but I hope you found the video useful. Please like our page if you found it useful so we can continue producing content for you. If you have any questions, please post it below and keep the good beer flowing.